Hello, people of the internet. My name is Maraid. I am going to be a sophomore at the University of Illinois at Chicago. My major is called IDEAS, which stands for the Interdisciplinary Education in the Arts, so I'm basically an art major. I'm going to be making an entirely separate video for the clothes I brought to college with pictures of the outfits I actually wore. So look out for that. Make sure to like and subscribe for more and let's get started. Every university is different, but at UIC we had twin extra large beds, which is kind of like the standard. UIC actually had a list of things that they recommended we buy. For bedding, they recommended that we buy a mattress protector. The one that I got was a zip cover one. Something that's not an essential, but I would highly recommend is a mattress topper. Mattress toppers just add an extra layer of comfort. After that, I would just recommend buying two sets of sheets. On days when you're doing laundry and you need to wash your sheets, you will have another set to put on your bed. It's totally doable with just just one set of sheets. Of course, a comforter. Comforters are where you can get kind of creative. I ended up getting a periwinkle one. I did buy a bunch of throw pillows from Ikea, a throw from Sam's Club. I had tie blankets from home, which were super comfortable as well. Just bring blankets. One time my room was stuck at 60 degrees. That was not very fun. I would highly recommend buying a desk lamp. Most desks don't have lights on them. I would also recommend bringing post-its. The amount of notes I left for myself all over my dorm, I can't even tell you. And also, we communicated with the other dorms across the way with post-its. But we did, and that's the response. Just thought I should update you guys. Um, I put my snap on that window. So far, I've been added by a few people, but everyone's at class right now, so I'll let you guys know what happens. I would also recommend bringing thumbtacks. We ended up putting up a lot of our posters and stuff with thumbtacks, or if someone had a cork board. Also, tape. I would recommend bringing scotch tape as well as painter's tape. I ended up hanging up a lot of my pictures with painter's tape because it didn't damage the wall and they actually stayed up on the plaster. Another thing that people forget about is scissors. You just use scissors all the time. That's something that's easy to forget. I would also recommend bringing coloring materials. This isn't a necessity, but I brought a bunch of colored pencils and people were always asking to borrow mine just to highlight notes or stuff like that. I'm also an art major so that's why I brought them. Bring a stapler and refill staples. You do not need to bring a printer. I brought a printer and I got some use out of it but chances are you're gonna run out of ink within like a month. Most universities provide you with access to printing. Bring a power strip and maybe an extension cord. Something I wish I brought less of was knickknacks. I will insert a video of what my desk looked like. It was just so over crowded with little knickknacks. I love having decorations and I really go overboard sometimes. I barely did anything on my desk because it was so full. Obviously, bring a hairbrush. Don't forget a razor if you shave. The razor that I got was reusable with replaceable heads. It's like the Venus one. I ended up going through two bottles of shampoo this past year, like big ones, and then just one bottle of conditioner because I only use conditioner on my ends. If you bring the bigger ones, it'll last you longer. Also, don't forget like a loofah or a washcloth, however you wash your body. Toothbrush, obviously, maybe a couple toothbrushes. I think I ended up going through two to three tubes of toothpaste throughout the year. I'm referring to like the entire year, not just like a semester. Normally, people bring a bunch of new stuff after winter break. I would also recommend bringing mouthwash. The mouthwash I used was like a whitening one as well, so that was really helpful because I drink coffee every day. My teeth end up getting a little yellow, so the whitening mouthwash really helped with that. Floss, band-aids, these are kind of easy to forget, especially with college and the amount of walking you do. Since I'm in the city, I have to do so much walking, so I ended up getting blisters. Use quite a few band-aids, tissues, I would say maybe two to three just to start you off. Don't forget to bring Q-tips. I also would recommend bringing cotton pads, and if you're bringing nail polish, bring nail polish remover. And this is for if you have your own bathroom. I had my own bathroom in my dorm room. Bring hand soap. We, we meaning my roommates and I, kind of splurged on some Bath and Body Works ones because those ones smell so good, um, but that's not necessary. If you wear makeup, bring some makeup remover. I ended up going through a bunch of packs of Neutrogena makeup wipes, which I kind of want to get off of because I've heard those aren't the best for your skin and they're not really environmentally friendly. So if you guys have any recommendations for makeup remover, let me know. Also moisturizer, especially in the Midwest climate, it's mostly winter for the school year. After a shower, I would always moisturize with this 
cream. Another thing, which is easy to forget, Carmex or your choice of chapstick, especially in the winter, your lips get chapped so much. I always had a Carmex on me. This is also just a suggestion. It's not necessary, but a shower speaker, especially because we had our own bathroom. I know my brother actually brought his phone into a community bathroom and played music through his phone, and then his phone ended up getting water damage. Shout out to Connor for being silly. <laughs> Bring self-care stuff if you do that like face masks and nail polish and stuff like that Me and my roommates and friends ended up doing like self-care twice or three times a month A shower caddy is very important and even though I had my own bathroom I still used a shower caddy. I also still used shower shoes, a pair of old flip-flops I had, even though it was our own bathroom. If you also have your own bathroom, bring a bath mat and then maybe an extra shower curtain if you need it. Those are things you can find on your school's website if you have your own bathroom. Something else that we had was poopery. That did come in handy when you're sharing a bathroom. It's just kind of a courtesy to your roommate if you don't want to buy poopery because that is quite expensive. Febreze works pretty much just as well. Don't forget deodorant. I think I went through two to three sticks of deodorant throughout the year. If you know you experience acid reflux or just in general, I would recommend bringing antacids. I would also highly recommend bringing a robe, especially if you're using a community bathroom. It's just so much easier to put on a robe and then like put your hair up in a turban instead of like having to hold a towel and your hair. I got mine at TJ Maxx for like $15 and it's a Calvin Klein one and it's super nice and fluffy. Don't forget ponytail holders and stuff like that stuff for your hair that's easy to forget like I said earlier, painter's tape worked really well for me. I ended up bringing painter's tape. I borrowed my roommate's sticky tack, which ended up leaving marks on the wall. And then I ended up using push pins as well. Not many people recommend because you do make holes in the wall and maybe that won't work if you have cinder block walls and, or concrete walls. But I think painter's tape works on all surfaces. Don't quote me on that, but that worked really well for me and didn't leave any damage on the walls. There's command strips with hooks to hang stuff on, but then there's also poster command strips. They do get kind of pricey if you're just hanging up a few posters i would recommend doing that also be careful with command strips because when i took them off they took paint off the wall you don't want to get charged for damaging your room so be careful with command strips normally they're fine but maybe the paint in my dorm was just cheap or something i would also recommend bringing a calendar kind of basic is bringing a flag i brought the chicago flag i just ordered one off of amazon just having like a flag to represent part of your community i know people are unsure if they should bring a plant or not because you gotta take care of it and keep it alive a plant i would recommend bringing is a philodendron and my mom actually put me on this. It's a plant that's really easy to take care of and it's super pretty and it just adds a little life to your room. A little plant companion. It's also fun to have seasonal decorations. The main holidays we had decorations for was Halloween, some for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Valentine's Day and we were gonna have some for St. Patrick's Day but then coronavirus happened but if you have like a dollar store around your campus you could find stuff there. Another fun thing to have is window stickies, the ones that you can get at the dollar store. Also one Wall stickers. I always have wall stickers from the dollar store. I also brought a chalkboard that also doubled as a dry erase board and this was actually really fun to have in the room. People would always end up drawing on it. I've seen people put a dry erase board on their door. Fun to leave messages for other people. Bring your own lighting because chances are that your dorm isn't going to have the best lighting. When your room doesn't have the best lighting and it's the middle of winter and it gets dark early, it's kind of just sad to be in your dorm. It just adds a bit of warmness to your space. That kind of makes a lot of difference when it comes to your mental health. I would say that bringing your own lighting is very important. Whether that be LED lights, twinkle lights, globe lights, a desk lamp, floor lamps. Just bring your own lighting to add some warmth to your space. Bring a mirror. Body length mirror. A magnifying mirror for makeup and stuff. I didn't want to buy a tapestry because I thought that was basic and I tried not to be basic. There's nothing wrong with being basic. I ended up buying a tapestry. I bought two tapestries. The best part about tapestries is that they literally cover up an entire wall. Then also posters. I literally brought all these posters that are on this wall. If they mean something to you and if they're a part of your personality, it just kind of adds to the vibe of your room. I would recommend buying those over the door hooks. I had this shelving unit to keep everything that I would use on a daily basis. For example, on the top, I would have my allergy medicine and the vitamins I would take daily. In the middle, I would have perfume and body lotion that I would also use on the daily. Just any sort of shelving unit like that. Another thing that I ended up getting, which isn't necessary, but did come in handy, was drawer dividers. For my dorm, I had a closet. Then I also had a dresser with three drawers. And my top drawer, I put my underwear and socks. Having drawer dividers really helped keep that area 
area organized. I also had an organizer in my closet. It wasn't a shoe organizer. It was like a little shelf. Cloth bins also come in handy. I think I brought three. My closet was a closet and then I had a little shelf on top where I put those three cloth bins. Bring hangers, obviously. A fridge and a microwave are kind of essential. We had to rent a micro fridge through a certain company. Microwave popcorn, if you like popcorn. Me and my roommate actually brought white cheddar seasoning for the popcorn and that just made it so good. I would recommend bringing frozen meals. You could find those at Walgreens or even the dollar store, I believe. These come in handy not only when you don't want dining hall food, but also when you have a full day of classes and don't have time to go to the dining hall, I would literally have a half an hour to eat. So I would come to my dorm room and microwave a meal, a few forks and knives and spoons, a coffee maker or some sort of device that will heat water for you. My mom actually had a single cup coffee maker. I would have coffee from there at least twice a week. I cannot tell you how comforting a warm drink can be sometimes. Don't get a Keurig. I know they're easy. But one, they're expensive. Two, horrible for the environment. Get a mini coffee maker or a mini tea kettle if that's what you're into. I brought like three mugs that fit into that, like a decent sized container of coffee grounds and then also sweetener and a thing of half and half that I kept in my fridge. Shareable snacks. I brought a huge thing of Skinny Pop, Cheez-Its and Goldfish and pretzels throughout the year, not all at once. The prepackaged stuff is the easiest. They're also important because you can transport them with you to class. Each semester I loaded up on flavored drinks of some sort. I had Lipton tea, ice drinks as well, and I also had vitamin water at one point, water flavoring from the dollar store. My mom found Snapple water flavoring, which was so good, as well as Arnold Palmer water flavoring. At least one bowl, maybe a microwavable plate. I ended up bringing paper plates and those were able to be microwaved, but I would just be careful about that. Make sure you bring a water bottle. I had a hydro flask for my dorm, but that was massive and I didn't really want to bring it with me to class. So I ended up ordering a smaller Camelback water bottle. I would recommend bringing pepper spray, especially if you're a girl. My mom also bought me some whistles to attach to my keychain. If you take daily vitamins, bring your daily vitamins. Everyone kind of gets sick in the beginning of college because you're in a new environment in close quarters with a bunch of people. Having a bunch of emergency on hand for like after long weekends, I would have some emergency. Or if I was feeling even slightly under the weather, I would have some emergency just to boost my immune system. Ibuprofen or whatever pain reliever you use. Maybe a safety kit. For me, a safety kit meant having an EpiPen and Benadryl in a Ziploc bag and I had like probably five bags of those so I would just grab one on the way out of my dorm. I would highly recommend having a wall plug-in of some sort. Dorm rooms can smell so badly so quickly. The ones that I can recommend are the Bath & Body Works wallflowers. Something I would be careful of though is those can be super strong. If they were too strong, they would end up bothering my nose, so I would test them out at Bath & Body Works. Clear it with your roommate just in case they have any smell sensitivities. My roommate didn't like lavender, so I stayed away from lavender. These are the scents that I used the most that were like subtle but still kept the room smelling fresh and clean. Vacuum. The reason why I don't think it's an essential is because I know a lot of dorms actually have vacuums that you can check out. The vacuum for our dorm was actually broken, so I ended up borrowing a friend's vacuum. When I tell you it gets really dirty, it literally looks gross on the floor. Like, you can see crumbs everywhere. Also, living with a bunch of girls, there's hair everywhere too. Clorox bleach wipes came in handy as well. Laundry detergent, I ended up having not Tide Pods, but I had Gain Pods. Also, dryer sheets. Stain remover is also important. Paper towels, also because we had our own bathroom toilet cleaner. I would not recommend going out and buying a TV. You just end up watching Netflix on your computer anyway. Maybe a deck of cards, earbuds, just having earbuds to walk on campus. I brought a steamer for my clothes instead of having an iron and an ironing board because those are really cumbersome. Everyone ended up borrowing that. My mom suggested I bring a sewing kit, so she gave me a sewing kit. I never ended up using it, but my brother ended up using his. If you have them, bring slippers because when you're walking around your building, you don't really want to walk around in bare feet. You also don't want to walk around in your shoes. A lot of people end up walking around in their socks. A heating pad, especially for that time of the month, or just in general if you're a cold person. Also, a weighted blanket. I actually don't own a weighted blanket, but I know a lot of people that brought weighted blankets with them. Those are just really comforting, especially if you're like me and you have anxiety. Being at college can be stressful sometimes. I 
lived in JST, also known as James Tuchel Towers, on the UIC campus, and I lived in a five-person cluster for the majority of the year and ended up changing rooms into an eight-person cluster. I have a bunch of videos of my living situation and stuff like that. I will link it above or in the description as well. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, let's get a conversation going in the comments. Bye. Nobody for me, I'm on your head. Aye.